Hi all, I'm Age. welcome to Liquid Earth. It's a channel all about video and photography, so if that interests you, consider subscribing. I'm posting every week. Today we're looking at the iPhone video features and all of the functions. So if you're new to iPhone, just swapped over from Android, this video will give you all of the tips and tricks to get you up and running on video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the camera. By default, it's normally going to open on photo unless you've changed your settings. Along the bottom, you can choose your video modes and you've probably guessed you just press the record button to start your video and then you press your record button to stop. But there's some other quick functions. If you press and hold one of the volume buttons, it's going to start to record a video. Keep it pressed for as long as you want the video and then when you release, it stops recording. When you're in photo mode, you can press and hold on the shutter button. It will start recording for as long as you're pressing and then it will stop recording when you release. Or you can slide the shutter all the way to the right hand side. That's going to lock the video so that you don't have to keep pressing and holding and press the red button when you want to stop recording. You might notice a little green dot in the top right hand side here and that's just to let you know that a program is accessing the iPhone camera in this case. It's the iPhone itself. I'm going to go into the camera settings and we're going to change some of the video settings. To do that press the settings, scroll down until you see camera and let's go for all of the options you have available. Formats, you've got high efficiency or most compatible. I use the high efficiency now, it's a new format. It's 16 bit as opposed to JPEG 8 bit. So it gives you better control of gradients in some high contrast pictures. And it's more efficient. It's about half the size of the JPEG files and it's the same quality. Now some say that the quality is different. I certainly haven't noticed that. And all the documentation I've read suggests it's as good if not better at half the file size. Most compatible though is JPEG, so if you want to go back to JPEG, just press that one. Record video, you've got your default options. You can always change it in the app itself, but the default options that I keep is 4K 30 frames per second. If you don't understand frames per second and resolution, then 4K 30 frames per second is a good place to start. Or if you want smaller videos, you can choose 1080 at 30 frames per second. That's still full HD quality. 4K gives you a few more options when editing because you can scale the photo, zoom in and out and still retain HD quality. You have some slow motion settings here. You can record by default at 120 frames per second or you can choose 240. 120 is four times and 240 is eight times slow motion. I find 120 works perfectly. Depending on the model you've got, you have record stereo sound. I would keep that on, it's much better sound quality. Then you've got preserve settings. Now if you choose preserve settings in the camera mode, let me show you what that means. If I go into my camera and I'm on photo and I take a picture and then I choose video. And then if I close down the app and go back into it, it preserves the video setting. Otherwise it will always default to photo. You have this grid option here. And if you choose the grid option, when you go into your camera, you've got an overlaid three by two grid, which is the rule of thirds. That just helps you compose your videos or keep straight lines. Back into your camera and under the video mode, you've got some toggles on the top right hand side where you can change from the default that you've set. So if you want to change from 4K to HD, or you've got 30, 60 and 24 frames per second, you can quickly change those and start recording there. And same for slow motion, if I go to slow motion, we can change between 240 and 120. Some of these settings may depend on what version of the iPhone that you have. Next option is time-lapse. If we choose the time-lapse option, that's a sped up video that's automatically created. It's very simple. You just hold the camera, start your time-lapse, walk through your scenario. The time-lapse is going along. So maybe 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, because when you press stop, it's gonna condense that down into a very small time-lapse video. You can, of course, stick it on a tripod if you want and record a time-lapse of a scene or scenario there too. That's the video modes and functions. I hope that was useful for you. If it was, subscribe if you wanna see more. There's some links in the bottom left and right-hand side to some more videos that may interest you. Thanks very much for watching. Really do appreciate your support and I hope to see you next time. Take care.